So hi guys, it is April from Getting Cocoa With It. Today I'm going to sit and chat with you about what I am currently reading. So let's get into it. So I've got three books on the go right now and I'm doing two of them more than one of them. Um, first up that I'm really enjoying, I just stuck into it, I'm 50 pages in, is Lying in Wait by Liz Nugent. And pretty much immediately reading this, I fully realized how much I love this author. She is one of the smartest thriller authors I've ever read because her characters are so realistic. And you learn to care about her characters or hate her characters very early on. Um, in this book, we're following a couple who decide to kill a woman, throw her in their back garden, create a little grave, put some nice flowers over it. Done and done. Um, we follow them. We follow their son, Lawrence, um, which I didn't realize reading on the back about it that there was a son at all. And I'm really liking that storyline too. He's a teenager. He's overweight. Um, he is like having this relationship with this girl. But he also realizes something is going on with his parents. He's been very sheltered his entire life. Um, and he realizes something's going on with his parents and it's not good. Um, and then we follow um, the sister of the woman who's dead in their back garden. And um, she's trying to find out what happened to her sister. I'm really loving this. The characters are so good. And one thing that I really like about this book in particular is a lot of the time when someone is killed and people are trying to find the body or find out what happened to them, there's not a lot of storyline about that person. Um, and right away, the second chapter, we are learning from Karen, I believe, about um, about Annie Doyle, the woman who has been killed. Most of the time, those people who have been killed just are faceless, lifeless. There's nothing really detailed about their lives. But after reading one chapter about Annie, I suddenly really cared about Annie. And so I want this couple to get caught really desperately. Um, the mom in this situation is so manipulative. Ah, uh, I'm really, really, really liking it. This was the book that I chose from my April Hall revisit. So I went back to 2018 and all of the books that I bought in April 2018 and picked, I had to pick a book to read from that. And this was the one and I'm so glad that I chose it because it's fantastic. Seriously good. So next up is something I picked up kind of on a whim, and that's Girl, Wash Your Face. I uh, I haven't read a self-help book in a very long time. I have to say I'm really enjoying it so far. I am uh, 89 pages in, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. There are some chapters that mean more than other chapters to me. Um, I think the biggest criticism that people have about this book is that this woman, Rachel Hollis, is kind of saying that she knows, she knows it all. She's kind of um, got her, her stuff together and is telling you what to do and it can feel a little bit braggy. Um, but I don't know if those people read the introduction, but in the introduction, she talks about how she's only learned these lessons from like struggling through those lessons um, and learning them the hard way. And because of that, it kind of brings in a little bit of humility. Also, I don't know if I'd want to read a self-help book from someone who was just like, I don't know, I don't know, good luck. So I don't really mind her telling us what she's learned and how we can better our lives. But it's really kind of good because uh, it goes into it, there's a lot of chapters on judgment and how women can judge other women um, about love and and the stupid things that you can put up with when you don't realize your own worth. 
and I'm enjoying it. I have to say I am. I really am. Um, some chapters, again, are better than others, but I'm kind of flying through it. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a good one so far. So good. And I think she just came out with a new one called Girl Stop Apologizing. Um, and so if I continue really liking this, I might pick that one up. So yeah. And the last book is a book that I'm kind of feeling uh, just okay about. And it's The Huntress by Kate Quinn. Um, this is World War II about a very nasty German woman named the Huntress. She was terrible in the war. She has escaped after the war. She's escaped to Germany and kind of gone into hiding. And we follow all sorts of people who are trying to find her. Um, people who have been involved with her, people who have been affected by her. And we follow Jordan, uh, a girl who suddenly has a new stepmother who she doesn't trust very much and you're pretty darn sure that it's the Huntress. Um, I like the idea of it more than the the actual follow through. It's very, it's very surface. Like all of the characters, what you see is what you get. There's no depth to the characters and that's from me not the best writing like I know that Kate Quinn like I've read the Alice Network and again I felt kind of the same but it's like very fast it's very if you like a fluffy read this is a good kind of fluffy read but it's kind of annoying me a little bit I'm listening to it on audiobook and I think this is the only audiobook I'm going to be able to get through this month because it's taking so damn long and I think I have like 10 more hours of listening time so um, I'm going to get through it I am but it's not the best I don't know have you guys read the huntress because it's all over the place right now so if you've read it let me know what your thoughts were so those are all of the books that I am currently reading let me know in the comments below what you are reading at the moment and I will see you guys soon okay bye